Hello, happy family. Welcome once again. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to make the best and authentic Ghanaian Hausa Kuku. This is so delicious, just like your favorite street side Kuku. Yes, and I surely believe that you want to learn this recipe. So please come to the kitchen and let's start cooking. All right, friends. So this is Kubape's recipe. And first of all, you need millet. And you have to be careful because you cannot just use any millet for this recipe. This particular one that I'm using is the black millet and it's play boiled, which means that it is cooked. So it is all cleaned up and dried. So you don't have to do a lot of work to it. All you have to do is just, you know, cook it or just use it right away. So let's go ahead and get our water ready. This is a very beautiful millet that you can get it from any local store. So with mine, I purchased it from an Indian market. Yeah, but I surely believe that you can get it from wherever you are. It is very easy. So I'm going to fill this cup with a lot of water and we're going to soak this millet in there. Yeah, so make sure that you get everything nice and clean and ready. So I'm going to pour the millet in here. Yes, so we have to leave this millet in the water for about two days we need to let fermentation occur that is how authentic Ghanaian house cocoa is they let it sit down for a couple of days you know before they do this recipe so next i have here organic ginger roots so i don't need a lot to make this recipe so i'm going to use only just two roots and after that i'm going to wash it and dice them up so next to season this you need some chili pepper i got this from indian market as well yeah and this one is so spicy but you can use any chili pepper of your choice so as you can tell i just dice up the ginger root and coming next is glove i'm adding about one tablespoon but you can add as much of your choice and i have here some black pepper you can get this from any african market or your grocery shop so next cover it and leave it on for two days just to get the fermentation okay for this recipe so it has been two good days and i'm just going to show you how it looks so next you can tell that it has a little bit of bubbling on the top and that way it tells you that it has already fermented this is so nice and i'm really happy for the results so next we have to strain it and then rinse it once and that is it so easy very simple because the millet is already washed and clean and it's plate cooked so there's not much to put into this millet so next i have here my blender ready you need a very sharp blender to make this recipe so after we add it in the blender fill it with a lot of water and that's what we're going to use to blend everything together yes friend this recipe it is so amazing if you can make it at home it is just golden but you have to make sure that you do it at the right way okay so we have to blend this into a very smooth consistency i really have a very good blender so i'm not really worried about the consistency or how it's going to come out and of course you're going to strain it as well so just go ahead and leave it to blend blend it as much as you can yes and after we blend this is how it looks so we have to use a net or a clean strainer or if you have a cheesecloth you can use that as well and I say Ghana, yes, it was on the year. I a very small. It's just only beer now. They are so nice. So, sell a beer on so nice. back and forth that way. It's a very easy, but because I don't have a very, very, you know, fine or you know, small strainer, so I ended up, you know, straining this for about four times. Yeah. It can be a lot of work when trying to get the very clear consistency. So next you have to leave it because there's a lot of water. We don't need the excess water. So please leave it to sit for about two hours. And after that, let's go ahead and boil some water. And I'm using my kettle. If you don't have one, you can just use the stove to boil some water. And you don't need a lot of water. It's so easy. Okay, friends. So because we are going to enjoy this house of cocoa with bread today, I'm going to dice up some bread right now. But if you have a kala or kose, you can just use those as well. But today I don't have those. So I'm going to use bread. Bread is also delicious with house of cocoa. 
yes everything is looking very nice and ready so let's go ahead and check our water and see how it is doing so far so this is boiling right now this is perfect so i just turn my stove into the lowest heat as possible and i'm going to add just one cup of water into it so i'm just adding the boiled water this is just one cup we don't need a lot of friends and now cover it and then leave it on the stove so next we just have to remove the access water like i told you earlier we don't need this because if you keep this your hazard cocoa is going to turn watery and that's not what we want and i'm going to show you how it looks after i strain it because it was all the way full and i don't really want that much of water so let's go ahead and add in here it takes about two minutes to cook it doesn't take too long at all so easy just like that and then your house of cocoa is ready it took me just two minutes to make this house of cocoa so easy i am really happy how my house of cocoa came out just like the street ghana house of cocoa Mm. so let's go ahead and dish it out since we have our blood ready just go ahead and serve it whichever way that you want you can add some cream milk you know you can add powdered milk you can add even milo anything that you feel like you want to enjoy peanuts or granuts just add it you know how you like it with me kwa ipan nubi wobu buogum na ye come on i thick now you delicious so thank you so much for watching this is how i make my authentic Ghanaian house of cocoa try this recipe leave me some comments and let me know how yours turn out because i would love to hear your feedback until i come your way stay safe stay joyful and have a blessed day let me show you